Hello, my name is Olaf Zipser and I have helped to develop the art of human flight. A free flyer can consciously manipulate all the air around his body in such a way that pure human flight is possible. The newest thing in the free fly evolution is the free fly astronaut project. We will use rockets and spacesuits and we will develop a way for emergency return, coming back from space and landing a man safe on the planet Earth. In 2011, I came to Russia to deal with the spacesuit company Svezda. They let me try different kinds of spacesuits and uh, we were talking about of making a spacesuit which is capable to bring a human back from space to Earth uh, in the Freefly Astronaut Project. In 2011 also I went to America to find and speak to multiple different uh, rocket companies which are now allowed to build private and make business in space. I found one rocket company and uh, we made a deal. When the rocket starts proving itself and becoming a, a valuable tool to reach space, in the same time we will start in Svezda here in Russia to finally construct the Freefly Astronaut prototype suit number one. We're hoping that by the end of the next year, 2013, we have all components together, meaning rocket and spacesuit, and of course, including the training for the Freefly Astronaut, which is the test pilot happens to be me. So next year, I expect to have a lot of action for all of mankind to learn and experience some stuff about space, which NASA or Roscosmos or the Chinese have not experienced yet. We will help all mankind to make space travel safer. My reason this year to come to Moscow and to Russia is to set up for the training which I will do next year at the Yuri Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center. Over there they have the opportunity to make cosmonauts and astronauts train in all different angles underwater, which I have already lots of experience because I have more than 300 hours of free flying where we are in all kinds of different directions. Um, another big reason to come to the Cosmonaut Training Center is to experience uh, the, the gravitational influences of uh, a cosmonaut, for example, during takeoff or during re-entry. They have a centrifuge over there which is turning very fast and a person inside this machine will experience multiple G's up to 10 G's. So this is one of the training which I for sure next year have to learn and do and test myself and train myself for as the rocket will approximately take off with 3 G's for about 4 minutes. Freefly has developed into something much much bigger than I expected to be so quick. Like many people have uploaded the Freefly file into their mind and became human pilots. Just last week uh, the best of free flying was uh, demonstrated in Dubai under the authority of the Crown Prince. And uh, I think up to 24 absolute good flyers got together and were playing in the sky like no mankind has have ever seen. This kind of skill, this free fly skill is the absolute necessity for the future free fly astronauts to come back to Earth as there are some areas where it's very, very difficult to manipulate the air and as there are areas where there's no air at all to manipulate. And uh, so a lot of experience needs to be done for to be this pest, test pilot for this kind of mission. Free Fly Astronaut Project will, will definitely uh, challenge any kind of free flyer for, to do it for the first time. But of course the beginnings are tough and uh, we really don't know yet of how everything needs to be done. That's why we call it research and development. How fast will a human being accelerate? at a certain height, from a certain, uh, with, with a certain body position. Um, it's a very nice combination of all teams in this plan, uh, on, this, on this Earth to, to collect all their data and, and use all their, all their individual data for, for to make this technology one day happen. I'm very happy about this. Uh, of course, there are some differences. Uh, Mr. Kittinger, Frenchman, and also Austrian team, they are all using balloons. Um, they, a balloon has a certain capability to go and reach a certain height. 
I'm very happy that my Ascent vehicle actually is a rocket. Uh, from 40 kilometers first flight, we expect to be like a little bit more faster than the speed of sound. From about 80 kilometers already, we will discover friction, which makes, uh, makes the whole spacesuit very, very hot. We will discover speeds more than 5,000 kilometers per hour, which is getting close to hypersonic speeds. And uh, that's a whole new ball game. Private people will go to space. This technology is important for everyone who will go up there to have a second chance. I have received multiple emails and phone calls about uh, the question is like, Olaf, how do you get off the rocket? And my answer to this is like, I'm not sure yet. Uh, we have multiple ideas. One idea is like I will be in the capsule, in some kind of capsule which then opens or I open it. And as there is in that moment, it's sort of like a micro, micro gravity environment. It would be very easy to, to kind of float out of the rocket into space like, an, like you would see an astronaut outside the space station, the ISS. Through extensive G-forces, uh, blood starts to go towards uh, the bottom. So uh, the sit in a sitting position, which uh, my rocket actually suggests to do, as it is only like this big of a diameter, there's not much space to sit on it. So it would be the most smart would be actually to sit on it. But I think I will try to lie on it, like in the original position, as it is approved and it's the best for the human body. As my spacesuit is made for high speeds, and my spacesuit is supposed to be made for fire and hot environment. So the coolest kind of thing would be to just actually lie on the top of the rocket without any kind of capsule and then float off the rocket, which would be the most safest to enter space and leave the rocket. That's my answer to that. So for the benefit of mankind uh, interested in, in space travel, I hope that any or all of the teams which are trying to reach space in such similar way are succeeding in collecting data for to make space travel safer. Free fly the black sky. See you soon on the moon. <laughs>